gentlemen. Nice to have you join me on my office. On my desk today is a new report for us to examine. So, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and let's get right into the topic at hand. The topic of today's video. On to the next one. You're just part of her roster. Man, what a quote-unquote queen we got here. I get that she's role-playing that this is actually happening in her phone, but, um, my god. Stop lying to yourself, and with us. Um, just wait until you really see this one when she gets off her knees. <laughs> He's probably decided to leave me alone for good now. Which, which I never gave a fuck because I have 10 niggas waiting on my roster. He's probably decided to. <laughs> Yikes. You know. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, <laughs> the second video here sends us a mixed message. Like, do you think that she actually cares? Or does she not care? Like, what? I'm just having a hard time uh, seeing some sort of um, straightforward thinking here, gents. Especially when you're on TikTok, you know. It's the best to um, be clear with what you're saying and make up your mind and whatnot. But let's try to purvey the point that you want to purvey to your audience. Either way, gentlemen, this one's a cold hard truth bomb. Women typically do have rosters of men, and uh, they go to them for anything, whether that's attention, money, or their sex. <laughs> and uh, you just may be, in fact, part of her roster if you choose to date in this economy. But, you know, it's not like you'd want to date somebody this uh, very average, but if you were to choose here, and that's an exaggeration of uh, what you'd be dealing with. <clears throat> now, let me show you what you'd be dealing with if you tried to date this woman or somebody similar to her. Okay, this is satire, don't get me wrong. Yo, what you was doing before I called you? Like I told you, when I woke up, I was asleep and I was going to call you. Don't be asking no stupid questions when I literally told you I was asleep and I'm going to call you, the fork. What happened, my lovable sweetheart? What? What? Fix your face before I slap the shit. Yo, what you was doing before I called you? Like I told you. Uh, Latina woman. <laughs> Latina women, man. It seemed like too much of a headache. Frankly, I haven't had the um, quote unquote pleasure of dealing with one in my life other than meeting people online and seeing how. <laughs> how much of an attitude that they have there it's like I hate to be potentially politically incorrect here but this race of people tend to uh, bring madness into their life for no reason just to have drama but that could be any sort of race gentlemen either way two things I wouldn't want to be dealing with here a Latina or someone from the Bronx oh man the Bronx? I've been in New York City only a handful of times in my life, but I've always stood absolutely clear of areas like that due to the crazy crime rate and just how generally unappealing it is. For those that, you know, perhaps aren't from New York State or aren't from the big city. <laughs> Or just haven't been to the United States before. Either way. The one thing that I do get, which people tend to um, up and up. Let me switch over here so I can give you something more entertaining to look at than her mid-face. <laughs> Is that people tend to um, over-exaggerate about their bad upbringing. Some people get along just fine. I feel like it's usually the ones that uh, seek out problems that end up 
having issues here, but like any place, you know, you stay away from going out at night. You don't cause trouble with the locals. Keep your head low. Don't make a scene. Either way, a lot of the people I know that are from the area tend to use it as a badge of honor, even if they're, <laughs> they come from a relatively well-off family that very rarely deals with hoodlum. Man. It's just a bunch of peacocking in some cases, and obviously this woman wants to uh, <laughs> do that to the most of her ability being on TikTok. But from these few clips, I think that this woman is definitely something that you should be staying away from gentlemen, especially if she claims that she has a roster when she's quite average. Um, let's go ahead and face it. Looks like most of the women that are out there. Final truth bomb before I end up summarizing things for your gentlemen is that uh, if a woman often tells you she's sleeping when she doesn't usually sleep for quite a long time, assuming that you don't actually know that she's sick, she's most likely sleeping around or spending time with other guys. So, uh, just the sad truth, really. Don't give her the time of day if she starts acting like that. Give her a little bit of the cold shoulder if she's going to be doing that to you and getting her back blown out by Chad. <laughs> Either way, guys, let's wrap it up here. Let's let's wrap it up here. I'm kind of tired of this one. But, Beans, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. And if you liked my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on the notification bells. I'll have new findings for you every single day. Do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this creator and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. Don't forget to visit Taylor's channel today as well to catch up on his content. And until tomorrow, always do your due diligence.